Hello students, today we are going to study a general topic related to the animal kingdom and that is known as the levels of the body organization. Actually, uh, what is the basis of the classification? So there are various basis of classification, say for uh, we classify the organism based on the level of body organization, we classify the organism based on symmetry, based on segmentations, based on germ layers, etc. Today we are going to discuss the levels of the body organization. So there are different types of the body organization found in different type of the organisms and these levels of body organizations are of five types. Protoplasmic level, cellular level, tissue level, organ level, organ system level. In general, in your books you are able to see only the four types of the body organization levels cellular grade of body organization tissue grade of body organization organ grade of body organization and organ system level of body organization but there is one more level of body organization and that is known as the protoplasmic level of body organization okay so all together there are five type of body organizations very first we are going to study the protoplasmic level of body organization this type of the body organization is actually also called as a cellular grade of body organization and such type of the body organization is seen in protozoa and other unicellular organisms it is seen only in protozoa and other unicellular organisms here in protoplasmic level of body organization, the acellular body performs all biological activities. The acellular body, the acellular body performs all biological activities. Means all life activities are confined. All life activities are confined within the boundaries of a single cell. Within the boundaries of single cell means here the single cell is performing all the activities of the body and such organization is called as a cellular grade of body organization or protoplasmic grade of body organization okay means here the single cell is performing all the activities say for nutrition osmoregulation locomotion etc okay so in nutshell we can say it as that here the a cellular body is performing all the biological activities and such type of the body organization is called as protoplasmic level of body organization and it is found in protozoans. Now coming to the second grade of body organization that is the cellular grade of body organization. Okay, Here the cells are arranged as loose aggregates. Here the cells are arranged as loose aggregates but tissue is not formed. Remember here the tissue is not formed. Here the cells are arranged as loose aggregates and division of labor occurs among cells. Here division of labors occur among cells means the different cells are given different sort of work. Say for some cells are associated with reproduction, some cells are associated with their nutrition, some cells will be associated with the respiration etc okay but now you must know here that though there are various cells present but the cells are present in loose aggregates and cells are not able to combine to form the tissue say for the best example of the cellular grade of body organization are the porifers in general we call porifers as sponges if somebody asks you that what type of body organization is found in porifers or the sponges, you will say that cellular grade of body organization. Porifers are basically multicellular, but the cells are present in loose aggregations and they are not able to form the tissue. Fine. Now, the third grade of body organization, it is a little complex type of the body organization and that is the tissue grade of body organization or tissue level of body organization here the cells performing the same function remember here the cells which are performing the same function are arranged into tissues 
here the cells performing the same functions are arranged into tissues the best example is the cylindrates the best example is the cylindrates have you ever heard about this phylum cylindrata cylindrata the new name of the cylindrata is nidaria right we can quote a example also to make the things easy uh, hydra belongs to the phylum cylindrata so hydra is having what type of organization tissue level of body organization means i want to say that in hydra and cylindrates the arrangement of cell is more complex here the arrangement of cell is more complex and they form the tissue so when the cells combine to form the tissue such type of the body organization is called as the tissue level next a little more complex of type of the body organization is the organ grade of body organization or organ level of body organization here the tissues here tissues are grouped together to form organs here tissues are grouped together to form organs and each organ and each organ is specialized for a particular function we know very well we are having various organs in our body and each organ is having a specialized function now organs usually consist of these organs usually consist of more than one type of tissue means a organ can have more than one type of tissues that's why we are saying that tissues are grouped together to form the organ and organ can have more than one type of tissues the best example of organ level of body organization is the phylum platyhelminthes uh, the common name of the platyhelminthes is flatworms so if the question is asked that what type of the body organization is found in the flatworms or the platyhelminthes so we will say organ level of body organization platyhelminthes was the first phylum in which this type of the body organization that is the organ level of body organization was found now the last type of the body organization which is the most complex type of the body organization and that is the organ system level of the body organization here organs here organs have associated to form functional systems here organs have associated all the organs have associated to form functional systems and we know very well that each system is concerned with each system is concerned with a particular or a specific physiological functions right different uh, organ systems in our body are having uh, different sort of work digestive system respiratory system endocrine system nervous system okay various type of systems here organs work together here organs work together to perform some function here organs work together here organs work together to perform a specific function all the higher Uh, uh, phylums uh, say for the annelids arthropods mollusca echinodermata and all the chordates again i am repeating the phylum annelida phylum arthropoda phylum mollusca phylum echinodermata and all the chordates are having organ system level of body organization so today we have studied the one uh, type of the basis of the classification that was the levels of the body organization in the next upcoming videos we will be discussing about the other basis of classification such as the symmetry such as the siloms the different type of the segmentations etc so keep watching thanks a lot